Before we do start this tutorial, I just do want to talk about how I've recently made a few membership tiers for my Ko-Fi page. So there's the $1 per month supporter tier, where you can get your name featured in the credits of my games or YouTube videos, and then there's the $5 per month tier, the Omo Pass I call it. Get access to my games as I'm making them, weekly posts where I discuss projects I've been working on, uh, get your name featured in the credits of my games or YouTube videos, and the special Discord role. So if any of that does interest you, link below. Hey everyone, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clamp the rotation of nodes in Godot. So as an example here, I have a scene set up where I can rotate the camera up and down. However, the camera's rotation isn't clamped, so if I were to just hold W to rotate up the whole time, there is no point in which it stops, it just continues rotating all the way around. So how about now we clamp this camera's rotation? So what I'm going to do in my script which I'm using to rotate the camera itself, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a line here, and I'm going to do rotation.x, since that is the rotation in which I want to clamp, so I'm doing rotation.x equals clamp f, and then in parentheses here, uh, as you can see we then have these three things which we need to enter, we need to enter in the value, the minimum and then the maximum. So the minimum, what that is, is that is the minimum value of which our camera will be able to rotate. And then the max, that is, well, the maximum value of which our camera will be able to rotate to. So for the value here, what you want to do is you want to enter in rotation Dot x or whatever the rotation is that you want to clamp and then for the min value I'm going to be doing deg to rad and it is important that you do convert from degrees to radians since uh, this clamp rotation will read in radians not degrees and so I think for my minimum value I'm going to be doing a negative 45 degree angle of which our camera will be able to rotate to and then for the maximum we'll do a uh, 45 degree angle and boom, just like that, now the clamping all works. So if I go test out my scene now, as you can see, the rotation is now clamped. I can't actually go up any further than this. And then when I try to look down, I can't go down any more further than this. And that there is simply how clamping works in Godot. So hopefully you did all enjoy this video. Thank you all for watching. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you all next time, and bye-bye.